Arctic sea ice are happening really rapidly. In, in the past 30 years, when we had good observations tracking the sea ice, we've lost 50% of the cover. And moreover, we're also losing uh, ice in terms of its thickness. It's getting thinner and thinner and thinner. And these changes are really speeding up. The last, few, last three years have seen the lowest uh, amounts of sea ice for the winter. And we've had a whole string of summers with very low sea ice. So it, there's, there's, no, there's no surprise now when a new record is set because we have such a, such a strong underlying downward trend. Well, one of the big reasons it matters is that the sea ice helps keep our planet cooler than it otherwise would be because it reflects most of the sun's energy back out to space. So if you take away the sea ice, and the ocean starts to warm up, and that warms up the Arctic much faster than the rest of the planet. And one of the implications of that is that you could start melting more of Greenland, for example, so you could get an increase in sea level rise from a warming Arctic. You also start falling the permafrost, which has a large amount of carbon, more carbon is stored in the permafrost than is currently in the atmosphere, so there's a huge feedback looming that can amplify the warming of the planet even more if we take away the sea ice. Obviously, there's a whole host of feedbacks for the whole marine food web, up to higher um, trophic level species that all depend on the sea ice.